Which coach am I looking to work with? Choose wisely because you need to improve your conditioning. Oh, shit, I really did not think of that. Like all this time, I just thought I just needed to just coast in there and just give it a go. I didn't figure that shot out at all. I did, I mean, thank you for letting me know. Please stop. Stop. And just use common sense, please. Hey guys, even here, and today we got another video about Samson Dauda, and I know I'm milking this topic for what it's worth, but guys, listen to me, hear me out, this video is gonna be very entertaining, we got a lot of new information and very interesting things we gotta go over, so I have to do this video once again, I would like to say it's the last one, but I don't know if it is, in this one, Samson talks about why he parted ways with Milos, he speaks about his strategy for the next shows, and there are a couple of other very interesting things, but in case Milos speaks about his side of the story, I'm gonna have to make a video about that too, so now let's go with this one, stay tuned guys, and let's just get into it. So Samson today did a Q&A on his Instagram and on his YouTube as well. He said some pretty interesting things worth making a video about, and also he's very angry in both of those Q&As, as you just saw in the intro video. He seems to be very much annoyed and I would say mad at all the questions regarding this whole situation. So that's also a very interesting part for me. It's very much unlike Samson. I don't know what got into him. This guy was not like that before. Personally, I feel like he's just burned out and he actually answers that question as well. So we're gonna go over all these answers and let's go with the first one and then I'm gonna tell you what I think about it. Oh uh, yeah, that's a good one, man. A lot of people wanna know this. Is a what pushed me to what caused me to part from me? You know what, man? It's just life, man. Look, we've come a long way, and there's no given, there's no doubt about that. We've progressed my physique to something that is just unheard of in a space of three years, and we can everybody see that. Like, like I said, when I started with Milos in 2021, uh, hundred, a lot of people didn't even know who I was. A lot of people didn't know anything about me. A lot of people didn't know anything about that. And Milos was there, so he helped me grow my physique all that time. But at the same time, man, we are at a point where we're the precipice of actually going all the way with it. And we've tried different ways to try to figure this out and figure out how to really get me into that next level. You know, we've come from a long way, but we got to the next level in it. And we've tried different methods in different ways, and it just hasn't worked, and we haven't quite figured it out yet. And I just think, man, you know what, it's time for us to try something new and try to figure out new things. And he agrees with that as well. So it's just unfortunate, but, you know, these things happen, man. you got to evolve. Alright, you heard, what is the reason why he parted ways with Milos is because it was time to move on, these things happen and that's it. The reason why they stopped working together is because Samson wants something new, somebody to help him reach the next level, the final level. And sure, that does make sense, that's probably the biggest part of the reason they stopped working together, but why did it happen so abruptly? right after the Arnold Classic, before the season is over, before the Arnold Classic UK. If everything was fine between them, I think Samson would finish the season with Milos and then try to prep alone or with his wife or find another coach. But okay, let's assume that he just wanted to look his best for the Arnold UK and he thought Milos can't do that for him. Then why did it happen right after he lashed out on Instagram and after he said he had problems and he wanted to go to the hospital and he said he did some things for the Arnold Ohio that he didn't feel comfortable doing that he regrets now. So there's a lot of unanswered things, however in the next part of the Q&A he did answer some of them. So let's proceed. Well, what happened or what went wrong? Why do everybody always assume something has to go wrong? You know, it's not about what went wrong. Everything went right. But the thing is, we know for the next level and what we're trying to achieve, we need more. All right, fair enough. Somebody asked what went wrong and he says nothing went wrong. Okay, he answered it. He didn't say anything was wrong and yeah, let's trust him. But, but this is fishy. It's very, very fishy. Why is it fishy? You're gonna learn later in the video. Now let's proceed to the next question. And the next question is something I have been wondering as well. Very, very much so. Because, like I said so many times, and Samson said it himself, three years ago, before Milos Sharchev, you didn't even know who Samson Dauda was. He was a mid-level or low-level pro. And look at him now. 
This is the best physique in the world, in my opinion, at least. Maybe he didn't win the Mr. Olympia, but he was third and he won the Arnold Classic last year, so I don't think I need to tell you guys how much Milos did for Samson, where he was before him, and how much these guys accomplished together. However, when they parted ways, how did it happen? By Milos posting one post and Samson not even commenting on that post and not posting anything himself. He commented on it a couple of days later. Why? Why was that? The only thing he did was, on the day they parted ways, he posted that story where he had a meltdown and he spoke about how he did something drastic for the Arnold Classic, he regrets, and he talked about how he needs to go to the hospital, and he doesn't even know if he's gonna compete at the Arnold Classic UK or continue competing at all. And that's all we got from Samson? When Chris Asito and Rafael Brandau parted ways, Rafael made a goodbye post. He spoke about how he worked with Chris Asito for so many years, what they accomplished together, how he was sorry for ending this relationship, but, you know, he needed something new, and that made sense. Nobody had any issue with that. Nobody was doubting his words or Asito's words. It was all very clear. By the way, Rafael made a good decision. He needed a coach to get him bigger, fuller, rounder. Neil Hill did that. Chris Asito couldn't do that. So, you know, it made sense. Everybody agreed with it. It was all fine. This situation is very, very different, very fishy. Something is going on here. Let's go with the next question. It might explain some things to you. Why didn't I make a post about thanking Milos for getting me this far? Let me tell you this, man. Today's model was so funny. Do I need to make the post or do I need to thank him personally? Which one do you think means more? You know, this is a problem today, man. Everybody thinks that if you don't post something, it didn't happen. So maybe sometimes you all need to rethink that a little bit. Not everything needs to be done publicly. You know, it doesn't work that way. That's not how the world works. Do I need to make a post or do I need to thank him personally? Which one means more? Well, of course, logically, on a personal level, a thank you in person means more. But on a professional level, a thank you online is gonna mean a lot more because this makes Milos kind of look bad. People are speculating, they're gonna be speculating because Samson left a lot of space open for people to do that. He made stories about feeling unwell and then he stopped working with Milos. So people are speculating, they're gonna be speculating that maybe Milos did something drastic, something unhealthy to Samson and that's why they ended things, that's how Samson made it seem. He doesn't say that, though, in the Q&A. He says that the reason is simply because he needs a new formula, somebody who is gonna pick him better. That's fine, I guess. Not every coach is perfect. Not every coach is perfect for everybody in all times in their careers. I get that. Maybe for this point of Samson's career, Milos is not exactly perfect for him. But he did so much for him. He did so much for him. It's really lame not to thank him publicly. Not to make a thank you post. Come on. This is not the way to end things. Even if something went wrong for the Arnold Classic prep, even if Milos pushed him to do something drastic, Samson is driving a McLaren right now. He is basically situated for the rest of his life. Isn't a simple thank you on Instagram in order? Wouldn't that be a common courtesy? I'm not saying that Milos didn't benefit from this relationship. He definitely promoted himself as one of the top coaches, sure. But still, still, man, Samson should have said thank you, at least, at least in the comment section of Milos' post, but I definitely think Milos deserved a special post for him. It is what it is, he didn't do it, maybe he will do it in the future, maybe after the dust settles, after the prep is over, after he calms down, he's gonna realize some things, we'll see, we'll see. Now let's go to the next question he answered, this one is very interesting. Ask about weight on prep, are you for real? <laughs> Too many shows after Mr. O. What, two shows extra is too much. You know what's funny, man? This is something I've been, you know, I've been to address recently, and it seems to be a very silly concept. When I was an uh, amateur, and then I turned pro, I did four or five show minimum every year. Nobody gave a damn. Not one. Nobody gave a damn. Then all of a sudden, I'm in this position, and everybody's like, you did three shows? Oh my God, that's too much. Oh my God. He needs to go to the hospital, he's gonna die! I said it before, and I'm saying it again, all this that is happening with Samson right now is because he's burnt out. And maybe those two shows after the Mr. Olympia made a difference. That was an entire month he was in prep. Hari took some time off after the Mr. Olympia. 
And maybe because he took the time off, maybe that's why he looked better in the end. Maybe he was fresher, he was having easier time to prep, and he didn't burn out mentally. Why are people criticizing Samson now for doing too many shows? Yeah, I know, it's cool to see him, he was in Romania, I could have went and watched him because it was close to my country, that's all awesome, but this is the guy that can win the Mr. Olympia, that should be his whole focus. From a fan perspective and content creator perspective, I want to see him at all the shows in the year, but if he wants to be the best in the world, I think he needs a different strategy. I think he needs to save himself for the big dance, for that one show. He can't allow himself to burn out mentally that much and physically as well. I think focusing on Mr. Olympia only and maybe another show like Arnold Classic tops, I think that makes a lot of sense. And I think that's the reason why all this is happening right now. I think he's simply burned out mentally. And now, now we get to the probably the most interesting part of this video. It's gonna leave you confused, just like it left me. And I don't even know what to say, really. I'm gonna try to give you my thoughts, but let me play it first. You don't do shows every week. You don't do shows every month. The strategy we've had before had worked and always worked. We did it for Prague, we did it for Romania. But we tried it for this one and it just, your body responds a little bit different and things can change. And this one just did not quite, it worked, but it didn't work as well as we hoped it would. Whoa, 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 what? What did I just hear? What did I just hear? They did this protocol for Romania, for Prague and for Arnold and it didn't work out this time? He literally said yesterday that his wife prepped him for Romania and for Prague. And now he says they did the same strategy for Arnold. And this time around, it didn't work. What is happening? Did his wife prep him for the Arnold as well? I mean, there are so many photos of Milos in Samson's hotel room and he was with him the entire time. And now, what is he saying? That his wife prepping for the Arnold as well? Or is he maybe saying that his wife used the same protocol that Milos is doing, the same approach, and they just copied it for Prague and for Romania, and now Milos did it for the Arnold? Oh my god, what a mess, what a mess. I don't even know what to think at this point, but you guys can tell me down below what do you think. I don't know, I honestly don't know, I mean, that, that's all I got, that's all I can say. Hopefully things will be cleared out. Hopefully Samson will watch this video and, I don't know, try to make sense of this. I was told Samson is gonna do an interview type of Q&A where he's gonna answer the tough questions. Hopefully after that things will be a little bit more clear. As for right now, it's a mess. It's a mess. You guys tell me down below once again what do you make of it. I don't know what to think at this point. I would like to say that I made things more clear for you, but you're probably just more confused now. But you got some new information and you can make of it whatever you make of it. Just tell me down below in the comment section what do you think. I told you my thoughts. Everything is just really weird at this point. It is what it is. If you guys enjoyed this video though, like it. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe to the channel guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye bye.